I still exist. What celebrities are wearing when they're not paid for? Let's go. Bonjour, bonjour. This is Clémence. I talk about fragrance and welcome back. Welcome back to me. <laughs> anyway, very chill video today. I want to know what celebrities are wearing. Disclaimer, you my sources, it's all Google, it's all internet, so maybe it's not actually true. Uh, maybe I'm gonna say this person is wearing this fragrance, but maybe they wear more than that. We don't know. Anyway, without further ado. Harper's Bazaar, that should be a re reliable source. The perfume a lister actually wear. Ooh, I want to be a nailist too. Mm -hmm. Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Well, first of all, with a name like that, you better wear something elegant, isn't it? <laughs> of course, she wears Bayredo Gypsy Water and Jo Malone Lime Basil and Mandarin. It's really like simple, less is more style. Everything that is not me, basically. Adele! Adele, what do you wear? Uh, Adele is wearing Dior's Hypnotic po Poison. I would totally have bet on it. I mean, come on, like it's very sophisticated, elegant, an, an ambery fragrance with a mystical vibe. I totally see her in there, especially with that red lipstick, madame. Oui, oui, oui. Angelina Jolie is wearing Histoire de Parfum 1969. That's a bit random, isn't it? <laughs> very vintage and... Um, Spicy. Well, she's very spicy, no? I'm not tipsy, by the way. Huh? It's just my natural behavior. Princess Diana. I don't know how useful is that information nowadays, but anyway, Hermès 24 Faubourg Saint Honoré. Very classic. I totally picture her with with the Hermès. Hermès is always that casual, chic vibe. I'd say a little bit royal. We, we, we cannot say it's not a good fragrance. Is it really relevant nowadays? I think it's a bit mature. Emma Stone is wearing Chanel Les Exclusives Gardenia. I love Gardenia. It's such a beautiful, fresh bouquet of flowers. But is it not a bit wedding-like? For me, it's like the fragrance for the wedding. It smells purity, white, not like, you know, that the, the bride needs to be pure, but what, what am I saying? Anyway, Naomi Campbell is wearing Giorgiorissimo. I would see her with like some Balmain ecstatic, some Musque Ravageur from Frederick Mal, things like that. Like very, you know, this is very, not sad, but it's like very classic. It's, I love Giorgiorissimo though, Lily of the Valley, but it's very soft. She, she's not soft, Naomi, isn't she not? I do not want to comment. Victoria Beckham is wearing Room Service Eau de Parfum by Villain Perfumery. Well, 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 she's too posh for us. <laughs> Rihanna is wearing Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I think everybody knows that for now. I thought though it was the extreme that she was wearing. I remember I've put that on my TikTok and there's a guy that said, Oh no, she doesn't wear a fragrance. Well, can she have more? Can you imagine the sadness? You create a fragrance line and all your life you will be wearing only your fragrance line. No. No, 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 no. Hailey Bieber is wearing Bond number no. 9 West Side. I don't know this one in particular because every time I go to Bond store, I'm always lost. Not even sure that the consultant in Bond uh, fragrances, Bond number no. 9, knows what perfume, what fragrance. You know what I mean? What What is the name of the fragrance? I don't even know if they know because like most of the time I go there and I'm asking them the name and they're like... I have to say the packaging though. Why there's not any man? Let's go to perfumecelebswear.com Ooh, and we want some testosterone, please. Alec ba Baldwin. Wear the perfume Guerlain Abbey Rouge and Annie Goutal fragrance. So that's very classy, mister. You can't go wrong with Abbey Rouge. A lot of people keep asking me, Clemens, what do you think of Abbey Rouge? Are you going wrong? It's beautiful. It's not my favorite Guerlain, but on a man, it's beautiful. It's a bit more mature though. Like you, you don't wear that when you're 20s, like, you know. Ashton Kutcher wears 
Lovin Arpech pour Homme and John Varvatos for Men. John Varvatos totally see him now. He's like a bit rebellious, modern, young. And you know, like he's not, he's not the most classy man I've ever seen. It's like this trendy, casual vibe. So I think this is nice for him. Lovin Arpech, that's uh, very mature for him, no? Bill Clinton. Bijan Bijan for Men by Billie Eilish. I don't know if I should trust this source. <laughs> Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt, that's like nice. Narciso Rodriguez for him. Finally, someone that is wearing Narciso Rodriguez for him. Guys, I don't know what you're doing. If you love a good design of fragrance that will never let you down, you need to try this. This is amazing. Cara Delevingne is wearing Burberry My Burberry. I think their sources is not great because I know she's done the advertisement for this perfume. Chris Amphoas is wearing Hugo Boss Bottle Tonic. That's not super impressive. I mean, it's okay, but it's not like... Eddie Renmain. You know the guy from the Harry Potter license that is not too great. I'm a Potterhead, I have the right to say that, okay? Tom Ford Black Orchid. Eddie, you're my hero. Do you know that I've actually met this guy? I did, he probably will never remember of him, but one day he went to a Chanel store and I was there. So I appreciate that he's wearing something that is marketed as woman. That's great, that's what we want. Hugh Jackman is wearing Tom Ford Grey Vetiver. Again, a fragrance that is super underrated. It's like the perfect office scent, you know, like slightly green, a bit earthy, fresh, but not too much with a nice character, but uh, uh, keep, keep it classy. Jella Pinkett Smith. Oh, some drama there. Don't ask me what I think about this debate. I don't know. I think both of them have done things that are not really correct. Eccentric molecule, molecule one. I don't like, uh, but uh, many people like it. It's just I'm not a fan of overly synthetic fragrance. Ormondo Gen, Ormondo Woman. That's super elegant. Very, very elegant. I like it. I like her style, you know, like, um, especially the, well, the dress she wore on the... <laughs> <laughs> when the thingy happened, <laughs> it was a really beautiful dress. I, I love her style, but <laughs> after obviously, um... I want to know what's wearing my favorite actor. You have five seconds to guess who's my favorite actor and write it down in the comments. Don't cheat. Mads Mikkelsen. What do you wear? How to smell like animal lecter? Who would like to smell like Hannibal Lecter? Little reminder that Hannibal Lecter is eating his victims. <laughs> Noise. I think it were Aramis. Yeah, but you think so? Heineken. No way would he smell of Heineken. Possibly leather and cigars. Yes, yes. It's totally the vibe. Snack sauce. Mm. Atelier Cologne, Tobacco Nuit. Oh, that would be so good on him. Justin Bieber's favorite perfume is Le Labo Santal Tantois. That's boring. Um, <laughs> sorry, I totally not imagine him in that though. I don't know, I was expecting something a bit more fun. Justin Timberlake's wear Jean-Paul Gaultier Fleur du Mal. That's amazing. That's creative, sensitive. We do like it, even though I'm not too sure about the guy. No, like, it's been not really nice to Britney. Free Britney, guys. Kirsten Stewart wears Chanel Gabrielle and Balenciaga Flora Botanica. Well, she's done the advertising for both of them. I don't think it means that she wear them all the time. Norman Reedus' favorite perfume is Kiehl's Original Musk. Wow, that's a bit animalic and very... Aldeidic classic. I mean, Norman Reedus, how cool is this man? <laughs> Oprah Winfrey is wearing Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely. Oh, well, that's lovely. Very simple, no? Paul McCartney's favorite perfume is Guerlain Vert. Uh, like me, my favorite Guerlain, that's super cool. Prince Charles' favorite perfume is Creed Green Irish Tweed. <laughs> And Floris fragrances. <laughs> How predictable are you, Prince Charles? Prince William. Oh my God, Prince William. What do you wear? Ralph Lauren Polo. 
But which polo though? Polo green or polo blue? What do you think? I think the green. Robert Donnet Jr. favorite perfume is Gendarme Jordan Fat. What, you, what is even that? Tom Hilderston. Cheyenne Blue Blood Orange. That's really nice. Fresh, delicate. Yeah, I totally see him in there. Will Smith. <laughs> Bulgari Aqua pour Homme Marine. I think it's really amazing. Hasn't been discontinued though. Like a very fresh, mineral, slightly fragrance. Farang for men. I never tried that, did you? Is it nice? Keep my perfume. G.I.J. no joke that done this. I'm Winona Ryder's favorite perfume are Lorenzo Villoresi Musk. I don't know why it is, but I love this woman so much. Kate Moss. Ah! Have you seen Kate Moss testifying in Johnny Day and Amber uh, uh, trial? <laughs> Epic. Yes. <laughs> I love the drama. Uh, Chanel number no. five, Aqua di Parma Colonia. How classy is this woman? This is this is elegance in a bottle without trying to do it. It's beautiful. Do you know what I want to know? What uh, fragrances? Johnny Depp wears. He wears Dior Sauvage. But I don't. He's not wearing Dior Sauvage all the time. Come on. Is he really wearing that? You continue to read them right, yes. And the <laughs> Seriously, how disappointing is this? What fragrance Amber Heard is wearing? She's wearing Michael Kors Glam Jasmine. That's not great. My dog stepped on a bee. <laughs> Objection relevant. My dog's my dog stepped on a bee, stepped on a bee, stepped on a bee. My dog's my dog stepped on a bee, stepped on a bee. <laughs> I'd rather wear sauvage. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more of this, let me know. I will see you hopefully uh, very soon. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here and leave a little like because it really helps. Leave the like, the little heart like. Bye now. Je t'emmène dans mon paradis bleu